Welcome to a new video. For some of you, this full-length flight from Verona to Innsbruck might be an interesting perspective. So I thought I might edit this a bit and upload it to YouTube. I tried to make it as interesting as possible. However, in some scenes I will leave a small note so you may skip forward to the more interesting parts of the video. Please enjoy. Uh, in liters. Yeah, that's one minute. is 90.85 okay uh, so we don't actually have a hundred liters we have only 90.85 yeah i'll just put it 90. according to this we only need 41 so we are uh, good roger next up is we're gonna go and give up our flight plan to start in about half an hour uh, the parachute is just landing uh, and the airplane already landed so we're good on that front Uh, let's get in a flight plan, create the flight plan. Uh, we're gonna use Dylan obviously. Persons on board is only one. This is fine, because this, this never changes. The route, uh, let me put in first of all here. From Bosco Mantico to Innsbruck. Alternate aerobrone is gonna be St. Johan. That's obviously fine. It's today. Estimated off work time is going to be 11. 100 knots. We are gonna go Sumir. Rena. And that's it. Uh, total EET is going to be about 110, I think. If I can get this, there we go. And I have an endurance of uh, 16, 90 divided by 16. Let's just say 20. Um, that means we can actually put in uh, 0, 4, 30, even though we have more in there. And information. But then, uh, where do I put this actually? Um, it's quite a bunch. Okay, let me actually go for every single one of them. Andrew Delaney, I'm holding in turn, they say no. Estimated lapse time from takeoff to significant points or for FIR boundary. So EET, EET, Brenna, there we go. So EET, that's why we want me to write it, got it. the lights time from takeoff to significant point for our FIR boundary designated as example EET Murek 0030 or Glove V0120. Okay, that's perfect. Then we got that correct. And let me send me my flight plan, please. So, uh, daylight flight is on Charitango. Leap in one hour, 10. No, not 11 hours. Oh no, 11 we start, that's why. <laughs> my bad. Um, November 100 VFR, Sumia Brenna, Lovi 110 to alternate this Saint Johan. Date of flight today, today is the fifth, yeah. Uh, Brenna for one hour, that's fair, that's all set flight plan. That sounds perfect. And we're gonna create a briefing, though I already read all of the uh, notams, so that's fine. And I just want to know if I have connection. I don't have connection. I'm going to get an SMS on my phone. If it's accepted or not. Do I then check it in here? Um, that's fine. Cross tie fires. Resolve the fires. And the flight level is going to 
copy uh, 000 to 000, 0 0.5 and additional. So I'm probably only gonna fly at um, 9000. I'm not sure. Then we can drink speed of water. It's very hot in here. It's fucking it's freaking winter, but here in Italy it doesn't feel like winter and in this book we have one degree. Really. Okay, here we go. Yeah, all of the Queen Erect as always maps. Here, no actual warnings, no comments. So, Innsbruck right now we have variable at two knots, 9,910 visibility, scattered at 4,000, so that's quite high enough. 70 degrees, uh, minus one dew point, QH1013. Uh, Verona Poscomantigo obviously doesn't have anything. Um, Metal not found. Uh, Has been accepted. Okay, so I couldn't connect the right one. Let me just uh, leave it out with the slide clockwork. Okay, let's uh, start up the engine and everything and uh, <sighs> depart basically. So, uh, then I'll just this one, I think. No, that's the Cessna again. Here it is. All right, pre-flight checks are complete. Trucks and towers are removed. Documents are on board. Uh, fuel quantity is checked. Seats and seatbelts are adjusted. Passengers not applicable. Brakes are set. They are indeed. Nothing else I need from here. Doesn't look like it. Um, da -da -da, where are we? Fuel valve is on, or open, let's say. Fuel valve open, there we go. Uh, electrical equipment is off. Avionics are off, that's right. And circuit breakers are checked in. Ready for engine start. Carburetor heat off, checked. Master switch on. Aircraft lights on. Beacon light is on. Let's put in the position. Yeah, we don't need position lights, but let's just put it on. Uh, choke as required. We're gonna need it because it stood the whole night. All right, this is the tough one. I can actually, so you can see what I'm doing. This guy is really tough to maneuver. Um, throttle to idle. Let's just pull it up a little bit. There we go. Um, fall to idle, propeller area is clear. Ignition key on start. Okay, let's check the air, uh, that's all going.
recording. We're gonna go in here. That is necessary to sync up the audio with the video, otherwise it gets really tough. Anyway, we're gonna enter to accept. So engine start checks completed. Gonna wait till the oil temperature gets up a bit. Avionics are on, transponder on 7000 standby. Radius are set. Posto magico da India al patrono 9, finale in base 2 cambio. Artis, um, we're gonna actually go to Skyrim for that. And we're gonna take a look at... We got 170. Hero at 4 knots. 170 means it's coming directly from the south to pass. Means we have a crosswind of 4 knots. We have a QNH of 1012. Visibility is 7000 meters. Temperature is 11 degrees right now. And 5 degrees is the two points. Okay. Let's return to that. Set up the QNH of 1012. There we go. And uh, then we're gonna set the altitude first. Because in end effect, what we wanna go is we're gonna go all the way up to 9,000. And we're gonna set it right now. Okay. Then what we're gonna do is probably do the heading. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Oil temperature now, oil pressure is now completely in the green of 4.6. We just gotta wait until the oil temperature rises a bit because it's gonna take some time. But 1,900, let's get a bit more so that we're at 2,000, there we go, RPM. And uh, let's just right now a bit. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go into the flight plan. We are going to turn this around. How do I fly plane? Um, reverse flight plan. Okay. This one we're going to delete. Uh, no back. Uh, flight plan menu. Remove waypoint. We're just gonna go direct zoom here, and we're going to third waypoint, which is going to be from Malovi. Uh, Where is it? Malovi. And then we're gonna look for Barrena. There's a plane right now coming past you. Uh, looking fine. And then we're gonna go to Perena. Insert waypoint, and then we have to put it low. Is that how? Let's see. Uh, low and ah, no, 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 Okay, fiddling around with this, so we're gonna wait anyway till the oil pressure's up, so... Ah, visual reporting point, nor... What if you now put in Adobe and look for visual reporting for us? Comantico Info, Echo Charlie, November XI Oscar, buongiorno. Echo Charlie, November XI Oscar, buongiorno te avanti. Echo Charlie, November XI Oscar, uh, Sierra, one person on board, coming from Bolzano, at about uh, six miles north of your field, for landing. 
Alfa Charlie X Charlie Oscar, copy para French Run with 26, wind is calm, correction 1012. Get us man, I just leave it at that and we're just gonna do it arbitrarily, one way or the other. And fly the rest of it by and will report joining down with 26. Echo Charlie, November, expect Oscar. Roger. Okay. Bit of that. Our temperature is now in the green at 53 degrees Celsius. Uh, well, not the green, but in the green. But that's fine. Um, our instruments are set. Trim is set. Uh, let's put the trim a bit up because it's not really on the center. There we go. Uh, controls are free. Doors are both locked, check, check. Uh, brakes are released, briefing completed, all temperature is ready for taxi. Okay. Get a bit more comfortable, check that we're recording, we are. And uh, let's uh, go. Went to Sky Demon. Uh, go flying. Alright, boss command to give information. Hello, there's Echo Lima Alpha Tango, request taxi. Delta Echo Lima Alpha Tango, good morning to you. From French Run with 26, wind from south 3 north, 3 north. Connection 1012, taxi holding point Romeo for Renault. 1012, and taxi to holding point Romeo, runway 26. Delta Echo Lima Alpha Tango. Okay, let's release the brakes. Start maneuvering on the grass here a bit. Get the camera looking outside. Slowly. There we go. Get a bit more of a whirl. I have to cross the runway here and then take a right. There's a Colima Alpha Tango crossing runway 26. Alpha Tango cross the runway on this correction report, ready for departure runway 26. Uh, cross runway on this question, we'll report ready for departure, runway 26, Delta Alpha Tango. Good, let's cross. Entered runway 26. And it's, uh, oh my god. <laughs> this, uh, this is not the best asphalt. <laughs> oh my god. I really gotta go slow here. I should cut back on the... This is one of the tough things uh, here that... If we have one hand on the brakes and the other on the throttle, a bit of a tough one to buy this plane correctly. But there we go. Like I said, not the best asphalt, that means you gotta pay attention as to how fast you're going. And I don't wanna put in, uh, I don't wanna accelerate but at the same time braking, it's kind of annoying. But probably also bad for the brakes, you know, where he stuff. Ah, uh, there we go. I think we're fine on that front. Uh, 1920 RPM. So we don't get too fast. Oh shit, there's a hole. Comantico, Echo Charlie, in one back, Sarik Oscar, uh, downwind uh, for 26. Uh, 26, correction. Next spot will be final. Echo Charlie, X-Ray Oscar, copy, if you want you can report the joining right the base to 6. Yes, uh, I already right base, uh, now next to right base to 6, Echo Charlie, November, X-Ray Oscar. There's a holding point here, There's, I see the line now, perfect.
that the guy? Um, let me apply the brakes. Okay. Let's go back to the checklist. So, taxi light is on, brakes are zero, we checked, it's been checked. Oscar, right face, 26. Charlie, Oscar, copy the final 26. Roger. Engine run uh, brakes are set, safety pads are passed, and throttle 4000. Traffic alarm getting, but it's fine. Three thousand eight hundred. I'm again put the camera down so they can see what I'm doing. Got a four thousand RPM almost. Echo Charlie, no one back. And we're not moving from the ground. That's good. Leave it running a bit. Um, magneto. So let me see. Everything is in the green for now. That's great. Let's check the magnetos. Two one. 200 RPM drop off to 1 plus 2, 4000 again, 2, 3850 and 1 plus 2. Cylinder head temperature, number 2 is fluctuating a bit but still in the green so that's fine. And excess gas temperature is constant at 740 degrees Celsius. Perfectly fine. Carburetor heat on. Ah, didn't quite see it there. Let's off again. 4,000, now on. And 50 RPM checked. Uh, while the carburetor heat is on, we're gonna set the throttle to idle. Engine speed. Now engine die off, carburetor heat off. And... The instruments are engine still grouped. Put it up to a 3000 again, there we go. Set the flaps to, to uh, 50 degrees. On the ground, 5-5, third report vacated. Now, Echo Charlie, on back, say Oscar. Control lamps are off, flaps 15, recovery system unlocked. There we go. ELT is armed, and brakes are released. Okay, and ready for departure. Go back to Sky Demon. Delta Echo Lima for Tango, holding point run, uh, Romeo, runway 26, ready for departure. Delta Echo Lima for Tango, line up and take off for runway 26 on this correct shore, wind 180, 3 knots. Sir. Line up runway 26 and take off and on this crash, and Delta Echo Lima for Tango. All right, brakes east, and let's fly out there. Right. Okay, that is all checked. Approach sector. Um, let's put it on altitude. My flight Entered controls runway, are free. Set it on the middle of the runway first. Landing lights are on, and full power. Airspeed is alive, 40 knots, 50 knots, and rotates. Hold to 70 knots. Continue on runway heading. Landing lights off. There we go, flaps up. I turn up to the north in Control direction to Sumia. We 
again, we have this uh, slight cloud cover, this haziness. But uh, we're still going to outclimb it and we can see good enough. There's a Colima Alpha Tango northwest of the airfield, passing 1,600 feet. Thank you for staying with you. Delta Colima Alpha Tango, copy it. Airborne on 57, your flight plan is open with Pado 124 decimal 150. Bye bye. 124 decimal 150. Bye bye. Have a good Sunday, guys. Bye bye. Boston, boss command. All right, let's connect to Padova information. And stream it a bit so that. India Alpha Tali, my Kevin, Padova. Padova, India Alpha Tali, my Kevin, Kabuzono. Sì, Roger, richiami in Montorio, se negativo, Bosco 125255, lanci para su campo. 125255, se negativo con voi, lanci para in Galpo Italia, ma è per questo. Padova Information, hello, there's a Kalima Alpha Tango. This is Corobus Fox Mike, Padova. Right, we're climbing with about 900 feet per minute right now. At, uh... At BY. Delta Fox Mike Roger, Gogem uh, 1000 feet, uh, one, sorry, 10,000 feet on this crash. Um, you try to can to try to report approaching Gogem, do you have an estimate? And we're going to fly direct to Sumir now. Copy, 1126, try to report approaching Doge, Miss Negative will be in stock, 128975. An and um, possible presence of uh, paragliders in the area between uh, uh, Doge and Breno and in stock, uh, due to a uh, glider competition there. Engine in green, all good. And this plane can really climb if it wants to, man. A thousand feet per minute right now. Follow my information, we'll go not there, Alpha India, Tango Tango. Frequency will be 128975, uh, Fox Mike. Follow my information, hello, there's a Colima Alpha Tango. November 201, with Fox. I can't listen to every single airplane. I can't hear them, so I never know when there is a break to actually say something. Piano, in Panel 136, in two minutes from now, the block is 7,000 more. Sierra, this is Fox. Copy the Whiskey Fox, Trotter. For the routing, we'll be direct to Vicky. Okay, now we're flying with... Everybody is direct to Vicky and climbing to... We're now climbing with 600 feet per minute. You can climb it on discretion, uh, call you back for frequency change. Take over, Whiskey Fox. Oh, the sun. The sun is behind us, quite strong. Follow information, hello, there's a call you, Miles and Tango. Follow information, hello, there's a call you, Miles and Tango. Okay. Follow information, hello, there's a Colima Alpha Tango. 
new METAR received the new METAR. SS is uh, not easy. Unreadable. Padova, buongiorno, Poli Bravo 08. Poli Bravo 08, Padova. Buongiorno, il Poli Bravo 08, scopo 968, polizia in volo da Trento a Padova, ha lasciato San Martino Bonalbergo in bando a Soale che stima fra un primo, mille piedi la quota, traffico a rotto porta già passato. Formation Delta, Eco, Eco, Fox, Lost, Tango. Poli Bravo 08, Padova, Chiasi, per il traffico in tutta la zona, può richiamare in avvicinamento a Padova, alla Pizzetta, se negativo con la locale, 123, 250. Trying to outfly the, par the national park, uh, protected space, out climbing, but I entered it accidentally. Yes, yes, received, 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 received,
Alessandro, a tutto il 26 di Uniform, è un K2 8 Sierra senza piano di volo con due persone a bordo che ha lasciato Lima India a Papa Victor, attualmente su Jesolo, prossimo Caorle, continuerà per la costa con destinazione finale Lima India Papa Golf. Roger, Gio Polignano che lo segue? Gio Polignano farò un palma nova media Gorizia, la passata di Uniform. Roger, se vita Sierra di Ronchi può richiamare su Gorizia. Sono 1005, vi farò il cicchiere di Ron, vi richiamerò per Gorizia, ma facciamo di un'altra volta. Padova, ok, guys, I come bravo, good day. Padova, io ho scarpato di Luca, beh, buongiorno. Io ho scarpato di Luca, beh, Padova. Uh, we're now at the 8,750 knot uh, feet, we're soon at the 9,000, we're going to level off, put the autopilot in and fly straight to Sumir and then to Breno. Delta Eco Limalfa Tango, Padova. Delta Eco Limalfa Tango, we are from Bosco Mantico to Innsbruck at 9000 feet, direct to Sumir and then to Brenna. Delta Alfa Tango, we are going to take a firm type of Erga. Please say again, Delta Alfa Tango. Yes, type of Erga, send the altitude and the estimated time to Brenna. 9000 feet currently and time to Brenna is... Uh, 40, 40 minutes. Okay, I read you uh, one by five. Try to report Brenner past six negative inch. So one to eight, nine at seven, five. And if you cross Bolzano and Trento traffic, don't contact them for information. Uh, Roger, we'll report when crossing, when close to Brenner, and so we'll watch out for Trento and Brenner uh, ATC. Okay, now loud and clear, report uh, an altitude requested. My, my requested altitude is 9,000. Okay, you can climb it on discretion, try to report Brenner Pass. Uh, in zone of Brenner Pass, there's a glider competition. Uh, altitude on discretion and will report Brenner Pass. Okay. 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 Uh, Alpha 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2. 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 Alpha 5, 4, 3, uh, 9,200 and put in the heading and uh... The Alpha 5,4,6, buongiorno. Alpha 5,4,6. Autopilot and go for the heading. Over 5. Alpha 546, fuori spazi controllati, non esiste piano di volo ridotto, puoi richiamare la città di Vicenza, lanci para di Iene e attività in Romeo 39. Oh, quite, uh, the turbulence up here. We have crosswind with uh, 20 knots and the mountain down there is most likely just uh, pushing up all the wind, which is affecting me right now. We're gonna have, and this is gonna keep on going for a few, so, well, it's not that bad. I don't feel sick in any sense, but we're fine. Lasceremo in bounce Vicenza, poi Mount Felice, manteremo la zona di Mount Felice tra i 2000 e 30 piedi per addestramento, riporteremo lasciando l'area. Roger, H10-12, alta densità di traffico, in città la zona. 10-12, copiato il tuo traffico, riporteremo lasciando Mount Felice, in città Wikinamore. Actually, 
Oh, I didn't even record. Poli Bravo 08, Padova. Avanti, Poli Bravo 08. Strada 2 primi, Surubano, Charlie 172 a 1005 in opposto. Viper received, thank you. Chiedo scusa a Poli Bravo 08. Avanti, Poli Bravo 08. Si è incontestito. Yeah, I'm actually gonna set the heading a bit towards the left. Uh, so we are, we're still flying like this, and if I just set it straight to zoom here, we're gonna fly past it. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I wanna check out the camera again. Delta Echo Echo Fox Tango. Hey, the propeller uh, stops in front. Rento should be right somewhere in front of me, but I'm not sure where. I can't see it with my eyes. It's gone a lot better now with the uh, turbulence. We're holding the 9,260 almost uh, altitude. Just going to trim the nose up a bit. Plane 8 and Tango, back to Zano, which you went a longer one. 3450 through. Right, ciao. And let me keep on watching the instruments and see that everything goes all right. Yeah. Just would like to clear the check. Once zoom here to burn eyes. Okay, it's a slight left turn. Oh. Maybe we could just keep on flying that way and then go directly to um, Innsbruck. Oh, it's getting cold now up here, honestly. Trim nose down. There we go. Okay, let me set altitude. Therefore, you don't have to worry that much. But honestly, I feel good now flying here. Really? How hot are you? Quite. Let me. Ah, I'm gonna leave you up there. You're still recording. 48 minutes now. Same with you, probably. It's charging. My battery's fine. My phone's fine. Let me just make a quick uh, picture again for Instagram. Always important. Taking pictures, you know, oh my god, it's slightly embarrassing, but that's better. You have to find the, the correct angle to do stuff, so yeah. Ah, we can't do both, I guess. No. Anyway. Oh, the sun. No, it's fine. Uh, so we have internet up here for whatever reason. Or not quite. WhatsApp is trying to check for new messages, but can't find it. Nine thousand three hundred feet. 
We're going at 90 knots ground speed with a headwind of about 10 knots because true airspeed is at 100. Oh, you can see again. But uh, it's fine. The wind is coming from 310 degrees, 90 knots, crosswind effect about 16 knots. Yeah. I should say it's like five degrees. This is one of the most, the best things about being up here, the absolute beauty of the landscape, especially the Alps. And I mean, considering there's a huge front coming in for Germany, I still can't see anything, but we're still kind of far away from uh, where we are supposed to be. To our left now, you can see the airport of Trento. It's very tough to see, but it's down there. Let's see if I can capture it with the other camera. That's the airport of Trento. Right down there, and the city of Trento. At some point, all of this that you can see here was uh, Austrian, Habs Austrian territory under the Habsburg uh, monarchy until the First World War when Austria lost and Italy occupied this territory and made it Italian. Wow, I mean, that's history. I'm gonna give it a bit more, uh, 4,900 RPM. Just kind of see uh, how fast this airplane can go. If you, if you truly want to go very as efficient as possible with this airplane, you should probably fly about 6,500 feet, I believe, 6,000 on that range, and only with 4,300 RPM. Right now, we have the 4,900, giving us about 105 to airspeed. But at this point, uh, can I see this here? I'm sure. Um, are we going okay? Yeah, we are. Honestly, hard air time, trip run, air trip, air total. Well, it's hard to say how much range is still left. Uh, it's not telling me anything. I 
Ah, because I haven't said it uh, correctly. I didn't tell it to I read here. That's why. Well, if you don't tell the airplane anything, it doesn't know where it is. I mean, that's fine though. Next time. Next time I'll be doing it. Uh, the issue mostly with uh, the ATC telling me that I need to report the Perena Valley is that due to the mountains I cannot get a proper connection, a proper stable connection with Padova and mostly they can't hear me. I'm too low to... Um, I'm kind of too low for the for them to hear me, nor they are strong enough. Uh, I don't have a strong enough antenna so that I can send a proper signal. It usually ends up with me just heading into Brenna directly um, talking to Innsbruck and telling them uh, that I want to enter the airspace. So that's what happened uh, other few times that I went to Italy. To be honest, it was twice. One was to Bolzano, where I did the checkout on this plane. And the second one was when I went to Venice with the Tesla. And in both cases, it just happened. We were high, but I just couldn't get a connection with Padova. They didn't hear me, I didn't hear them. And in the end, it just, uh, it just ends up with you directly uh, requesting to enter the airspace of Innsbruck. It's getting slightly cold. I'm gonna put in the heating a bit. And uh, hopefully it's gonna get a bit warmer in here because it's seriously getting cold now. And the windows are closed, so that's fine. Again, a few turbulence says that wind is, you know, always a tough one. I remind you below level 150 traffic information service and alert service is not completely assured for radio coverage. Report approaching Brenner Pass. Uh, if negative, Innsbruck uh, approach 189.75 and presence of uh, glider in the zone of uh, uh, Brenner and uh, north of Brenner D2. Uh, once we're at Brenna, I'm gonna set the camera back here again. Because uh, the great thing is, you have it completely at my eye level, eyesight level, and therefore we can uh, we can kind of see what I'm seeing. Leaving the area of Matarak, flying to Riboli, dear Sopo, three persons on board, and two hours of endurance, Coke 7000. Can I pop a thing on the member whiskey? I may dial down a bit on the RPM. Roger. Don't need to be fast, you know. Paracetting activity over Dantino di Vivente and over Udine. You can report approaching Lima India. That's one of the toughest things to make small. Making small adjustments on the throttle is really tough. On the on the test, I can turn it if I want, but on this guy, I have to kind of like slowly grab it and then pull it up or to the front if I just want to make minimalistic adjustments. I don't enjoy it a lot, but it's what it is. Uh, Okay, it's all good though now. We're going at about 100 knots ground speed, solid 185 kilometers an hour. We are almost to the point of Sumir, and um, we're actually just going to keep on flying in this uh, on this heading. Uh, no mountain is in my path. No mountain is uh, it's an obstacle for me at this altitude for now. So, I'm just gonna keep on flying with this, not change here. Oh, look at that. There's a, still a bit of ice on the lake. The mountain, the shadow. 
Bill made it freeze over a bit, but obviously. It's uh. It's melting. Someone's talking in German, even though he's supposed to talk in English here. Oh, it's getting cold now. Oh my god, heat it, please. Where does the heating actually come out of? I don't even know. Oh, would you look at that? I was all the time using my tablet, they didn't even realize we have it printed out. That's nice. No turbulence right now. Almost 9,500 feet. The airplane keeps on climbing slightly. Visibility of 7 km, deboli rovesci di neve, più 300 piedi, broken 1200 piedi, cumulo nembi. But it's fine. I have 4 nautical miles south of Sumir. Um, so, ETA next is in 2 minutes and 11 seconds. ETA end is uh, in 34 minutes. In about 35 minutes, we're going to land in Innsbruck, uh, depending on what's happening in Innsbruck itself. As after all, uh, Saturdays and Sundays, a hell of a lot of traffic is going on. And it could be that we have to hold until all, uh, until we get a nice uh, window in between all of the uh, airliners. Um, after all, they uh, usually have uh, priority. And I don't mind sitting around in the air a bit. Right now I'm feeling really good about pl uh, climbing, uh, about flying, if I'm honest. Yesterday, not so much. Uh, but today I'm feeling really good. I'm, I'm happy that I finally got to to experience this uh, to, to do the, my first episode of the, my new series, Come Fly With Me. Finally, I have a bit of footage. I have a bit of stuff that I can start with. It's not gonna be a, the best video, if I'm honest, that I create. But uh, it's a beginning, and from here. I have to get better, I have to go up with it. Uh, what I also kind of want to talk to you guys about is... What did you say, plane? The plane said something. Ah, reaching waypoint, yeah, thank you. Um, let's go direct, not zoom here, but uh, let's go flight land. And take lobby and go direct to lobby. There we go. Anyway. Um, even though it tells me I should go uh, left. Like you can see here the display is telling you to follow this bar chart. I'm going to continue straight uh, as I was going to China, not uh, to Sir Bolzano too much. There is the area. And be, uh, be fine with it. Oh my god, this camera got really hot right now. Is it, it's sitting in the sun after all. I don't want it to over overheat. I'm gonna put it over here and I can kind of see a bit more of the cockpit going on in here. I still don't feel like it's heating at all. And I don't even know where the, where the from where, ah, from back there, huh? Uh, I can't feel a lot. That doesn't matter. Anyway, um, anyway, I want to talk to you guys about what it means to be a small YouTuber. Like, I am small. I don't even have 100 subscribers right now, as far as I know. And to be honest, 
it, it's gonna take it's gonna take quite some time until I actually get anywhere. My goal for this year until the end of 2023 is to get a thousand subscribers. Right now I'm at about 70 to 80 I think. So there's still a long way to go until then. Even if uh, the, the great thing about trying to make a YouTube video uh, the, the great thing about making a YouTube video is it kind of also motivates you, you to get out there. Um, I have seen a video yesterday where he was talking about motivation to go flying, motivation about what you should do, what you can do. I mean, I was struggling with motivation a lot now since my, um, since my work, um, because I was working from Monday to Friday, it limited me to go out during the week and fly somewhere. And every time uh, on the weekend, the weather was not good at all. That, that, did, that led to me not doing anything, always getting frustrated at the weather and to, at work for not allowing me to do the still things that I want to do. For not allowing me to go out there to fly. And so I also struggled a bit with motivation and what I should be, uh, where I should be. So I'm really, really happy that I finally made the first step. I finally could, uh, could make the first step of flying to, of flying out to Dubarona. Um, spend the night, have a bit of fun, eat some food, enjoy a very nice breakfast. Honestly, it was a really good breakfast. And now fly back to Innsbruck. Motivation is a big factor. Uh, not to mention, this is just flying, you know, I'm just recording everything. This is raw footage without any proper editing. Producing this video, which is probably just gonna be like some 10 minutes long, is gonna take me some 100 hours, I believe. Um, the last video I made about the flight design F2 with Ernst also took me over a hundred hours of editing until I could finally upload it. And uh, thanks to you guys out there, I had actually got, I think, about 2,000 views as of right now. So that, that also motivates me to do more. Uh, seeing that you guys uh, want to see a bunch of different stuff and uh, enjoy a little bit about what we can do. How does that one on it? Uh, yeah, and I can't. Oh. So, that's, that's, that's a cool thing that is happening uh, with YouTube. But still. I'm happy I'm up here. I'm, ha I'm happy I'm up here with you guys. And I'm happy I can finally produce. Oh, turbulence. I'm happy I can finally produce um, a new video about the series that I've been planning on doing a long, long time now. Oh, you can see the, oh shit, my phone, you can see the, see the airfield, airport of Portano, this is where I did my checkout uh, of the flight design of this airplane with uh, my flight instructor Armin, thanks to him. So you can see the main runway of asphalt and right next to it on the whoopsie, on the western side on the eastern side is the grass runway which was my first glass grass landing that i did i specifically requested for it as i didn't i didn't have any grass landing experience even though on this airplane you mostly just uh, there's no significant difference between 
We've been landing on asphalt and grass, but I still wanted to experience this, obviously. And it's the beautiful mountain range of the Alps in Italy. Absolutely tremendous. Also sure to check out my Instagram. I also always uh, post the small teaser videos uh, about my upcoming stuff that I produce. And also be sure to, um, I'm planning on opening uh, a TikTok account to also get some uh, views from that platform. And hopefully, uh, and hopefully uh, get some more views for YouTube. I mean, Instagram and TikTok are usually just using to increase my viewership on YouTube. I'm not so much interested uh, uh, for the views of Instagram itself. I'm more like interested in getting um, in getting uh, views for YouTube. Anyway, um, the restricted zone is right in front of us, but we can still adjust it and go to like heading directly 360 directly north. The wind is still uh, coming from 290 degrees at 70 knots, complete crosswind factor, almost no headwind, true airspeed is at 104, ground speed is at 100, indicated airspeed at 90 at 4,900 RPM almost, using 17 liters per hour. Um, this airplane is very efficient, I gotta say. Like, if you make some, some very quick uh, calculations, we can see that we are using 70 liters per hour per hour. We are flying about 185 kilometers an hour. That means uh, 17 divided by 185. Yeah, I just again calculated bullshit. 185 divided by 17. We are using about 10.8 liters of Super 89 of uh, basic fuel, automotive fuel. That we're using bow gas, so that's um, Super 89, uh, 98, Super 89, Super 98 with 4% of ethanol alcohol. Oh, we got internet. Send it. Um, so in reality, this, this airplane doesn't even reuse much more than a big car. But yeah, I enjoy it a lot. Uh, let's change the heading again to 397, 357. Oscar Micromeo, parachuting activity over Rudine Airfield. When possible, report the estimated time to Osoppo for Brenner Pass and uh, add to the request. We're going to experience a lot of turbulence. Let's go to quickly check on this scan that everything is okay. There we go. And, um, 
presence of uh, gliders uh, and uh, gliders uh, not of trainer pass into a competition in the zone. Okay, uh, oh, yeah, sounds good. The gliders, the area, not of and uh, I will try to call you in the area of Renda in the case of negative uh, info tower 1 to 0. That's the case. Yeah, correct, report in those yeah, over this mountains we're going to have a lot of uh, loads of turbulence, so got to buckle up for that. I mean, I can't out climb. I mean. This airplane can fly up to 15,000 feet, but I don't have any oxygen with me, so that's dangerous. I would like to stay below 10,000. And... I mean, I'm not going to be able to out-climb or under-climb the turbulence anyway, so I'm just going to stay up here and going to suck it up. <laughs> uh, if I feel a bit sick, then so be it. This uh, bot is very... Um, Taking the pressure. Air Alpha 918. Let's take a look once we land at how uh, crushed it is. Uh, this airplane comes equipped with a ballistically uh, emergency ballistic recovery system. If I pull down here. A parachute comes out, which is so right in the back here, uh, which brings the airplane down uh, directly. Uh, basically, like a helicopter. And that's a great thing when you're overflying on uh, mountains. Sometimes you can't land anywhere. Like, uh, if we take a look, if we take a look here, like, there's pretty much no. Good spots for you to land. So, uh, possibly back there, I guess. Yeah, uniform India, one, two, uh, landing on top of the mountain in this case would be possible, but uh, I don't know how smart it would be as uh, <laughs> someone has to take down the airplane, so that's gonna be very expensive. But still. Uh, so, that's great to have the parachute in there. Uh, it's Delta Kulim Alpha Tango calling. Negative, it's the Oscar Eco 7159. We are requesting frequency to contact info. So, someone. Sierra Papa Tango November Whiskey, we have uh, airfield table detail support. Inside, uh, we'll contact local frequency on the 123.455. Thank you and goodbye. Someone. Tango, November Whiskey. Bye, November Whiskey. Contacted Padova to request a frequency of Innsbruck. And Padova thought I was calling. You probably just saw uh, my transponder signal coming off and his transponder thing, and he thought I was calling. Um, but. Uh, it's all good, I think. I'm just gonna quickly call in. Padova information, Delta Ecolima Alpha Tango. Delta Alpha Tango, Padova. Delta Alpha Tango, you just called me. Do you need something? Uh, no, uh, one of uh, you going to north, uh, to Innsbruck, told me changing frequency. I don't know if uh, it was you or uh, Oscar x 159 er because I didn't copy the call sign. It was not me. Okay, so it was Carico 7159, thanks, sir. Okay. Quick, it's Alan Macron, you're leaving a zone for proceeding with our plane and climbing in flight level 905. Okay. Problem solved. Negative, positive. If I do it, you have this negative info, because my own. Oh, okay. This mountain range up ahead? It's gonna be the pain of my existence. Woo! Careful. Turbines are starting strong. 
Oh, that kind of hurts. Okay, in my radio, I have the artist frequency set. Then I'm gonna put in lower frequency once I'm there. Okay. Just in case I'm preparing if I have to take manual control of the aircraft. And you know what? I'm actually gonna take manual control of the aircraft. Autopilot is engaged. Uh, it's pissing me off, the, the noise. I'm gonna fly manually from now on. And oh, Oh my god. Yeah, it's best if I take many control right now. The turbulence and everything. Try to maintain a 9,500 feet at about 90 knots, indicated airspeed. Um, head straight. I can already see the VFR point for Rena. Well, I can see the geographical point of it. Um, that's normal, obviously. I'm gonna head directly toward it. It's gonna try to listen to Innsbruck Artis. This is a restricted area you can see right here. I'm just gonna pass by it to, it to my left side. And I'm mostly guessing it's uh, Italian military. Uh, uh, what's it called? Military exercise area. But I'm not sure, obviously. Could be that I'm gonna keep on flying uh, manually from this point onwards. Uh, the noise is strong here. Let me see if I can... Uh... There's a mountain top right in front of me and try to get right to the left of it to let it pass on my right. I can't listen to shit though. By the way, information, there's a Colima for Tango. Yeah. I don't think you can hear me, nor do I think I can hear you. Why the mountain is over there? Okay. Uh, let me actually uh, put in the autopilot again. That's just beautiful, you know? Snow, Italian Alps. Nah, I forget it. There we go. Um, that's me set up for Innsbruck. Let me try to listen to artists of Innsbruck. Uniform S1150. 
Runway in use to the transition level not determined. Wind touchdown zone variable 6 knots. Visibility 30 kilometers. Cloud view 4000 feet. Temperature minus 2 point minus 2. QNH 1011. Temperature at 10000 feet above mean sea level minus 11. Aerodrome trend no seat. Expect increase minimum flight altitude by air traffic control due to low temperature. This was in book information uniform. Innsbruck tires are on 20.1. Yes, Alright, there we go. I can already see loud and clear. So, runway news is 26, variable at 6 knots winds. Visibility of 30 kilometers, view at 4,000 feet. High enough, it's 4,000 feet above the ground. Uh, temperature right now is 9 degrees on the ground. Did I read the crack? What? It actually is! Oh my god, it's amazing! Uh, dew point is minus 3. And QNH is 1011. So let me change my barometer to 11. And uh, let's put in, uh, no, not, not yet, but uh, we're going to keep it at altitude. Because at Brenna we should have about 7,000 uh, feet of altitude. But I'm going to keep on flying for now until I truly get there. All right, it's a variable six knots, the wind, uh, so not the expected 90, uh, not the expected 90 of 12 knots that I thought would be coming in, uh, well, it's, it's 97 knots, so who knows. Okay. Hey, look at that. There was once an airfield. I mean, it's a perfect spot to land. No, don't get me wrong. I mean, you could possibly even land on the uh, highway itself. But uh, obviously, it's not safe landing on that highway. Yeah. There we go. Now, I'm not going to take the camera anymore into my hands. Now we're just going to. Out there. Oscar Alpha, Lima trying to downwind for Hanvi 26, maintain downwind heading traffic is police helicopter along the highway 2700 feet opposite. No turbulence so far. Perfect. You need to have a seat for Innsbruck. What city is it again? Vipiteno, that's the city of Vipiteno, or village, I guess. Now, Oscar Zalima, turn right to join the downwind for runway 26. Okay. Let me set it to 7,000 feet and let's uh, descend down. One, two, two, eight. Thank you very much. And let's descend downwards toward uh Flight of Line and start up with the post for runway two six can H one zero one one. Oscar for Lima Tron final for runway two six. Okay, so seven one five minor turn down in for runway two six. Okay, 
Continue inbound, join the down with runway 26, that Alpha Tango. Please, I can actually go down to 4000. Easy one, seven, Papa Foxtrot. Copy, 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 right now. We're still gonna pass Sierra. Yeah, looking good for now. And we're gonna head for 4,000 feet. Where we then uh, probably gonna stay once a bit of downwind. I'm gonna descend to 3.5 and then enter the right base and final and obviously get down on the ground. So that's the plan. I always like to talk through what I'm doing, what I'm gonna do. So that we, uh, well, don't, it, uh, don't have to improvise that much. No. Ah, that one, I see it. 
Scan the name and one six five two. Let's go. Right there it is. Okay, fine. Control base base one four one six five two. Give everyone a fast request. Yeah, we have to change the runway due to wind. Uh, you are required to out of runway zero eight for the Rattenberg to keep back departure. Just for me. Runway zero eight, Rattenberg to keep back departure. Okay. One of the six hundred. Change the wind. Back nine one eight, Romeo. Tail wind four knots, runway two six, clear take off. Clear take off two six, Frank. And uh, eight one eight, Rob. Flight two nine, contact radar one two eight, S one nine seven five. Well, this, uh, this seriously hurts my ears, honestly. Okay, the 715 4 knots, runway 26, clear to land. Tailwind 4 knots, clear to land, runway 26, or Keiko 715. And uh, 7159, taxiway Zulu is stopped, either you are able to hold the 4th intersection of taxiway Zulu, otherwise please over right, the taxiway Zulu. Yeah, that's no problem, so we will wait, east the team, the taxiway, okay, go 7159. Thank you. Don Juan, 11 one, one, Mike, go ahead. Very good, 7 minutes, 11 Mike. Uh, no, uh, Roger, no one more mic. Uh, you get on for them. Kempton 5, Julie departure, the runway 08. Climb flight level 1 to 0, score 1000. Uh, Kempton 5, Julie departure, Alright, uh, the airport in front of us, city to the right. Home sweet home. Time is it? Early 10, would you look at that? Tango Lima, Alpha Tango, you are repaired into the holding south of tower. Uh, I, do you want me to put in the holding south of the field, Alpha Tango? Alpha Tango, holding south of the field. Holding south of the field, understood, Alpha Tango. Alright, so we're basically just gonna do a nice circle around this area. Thank you to hold east of Texas Zulu. Delta, Quebec uniform, line up around the 26, the tailwind for not 26, clear for the cost. They gotta hold south of the field now. Join and maintain right hand down with runway 08, Delta Tango. Okay, good, 7159, Avaya takes it to the north. Avaya Fulu to the north, okay, good, 7159. 08 is this direction. Ready to set 11 mic, confirm ready for startup. Ready to set 11 mic, confirm startup is approved for runway 08. Startup approved for runway 08, project set 11. So I'll do the 3,500. Alpha Tango, are you able for a short approach on VT right? Negative, no short approach. I can still keep on holding the Delta Tango. Continue for the runway to right. Continue for runway 08. Maintain down with, uh, right down with runway 08, Delta Tango. The key is uniform after passing calls, maintain westbound in the northern part. Alpha, join the long final for Rani Zero 8 via Oberperfus. Simple, 
Next one landing right now. Almost didn't make the curve there. Sunflight level 120, score 12 sets, for all that's required, covered it off, landing lights off, standby. Throttle idle. Engine speed. Brake stand, taxi light off. Off, uh, transmits off. Uh, avionics off. Electrical equipment off, alternate off, master switch off. Ignition key removed. Both recovery system locked, DLT check, and a few of closed, obviously. There we go. Oh my god. One half one minute hour twenty flight time. Oh it feels good. Anyway. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Back in it, Brock, would you look at that? Oh I gotta take a picture of this. Anyway, uh this is all set and uh let's clean the aircraft, pack it back in and uh Go home to eat something. Uh, I've got some food at home, so I don't need to order or in any case. Let's uh, stop navigating. And let's also stop uh, the recording. There we go. See you in a bit, guys.